I'm really proud today that my alma mater, the University of Miami, has a new head football coach. His name is Mark Richt. Richt played quarterback at Miami beginning the year after I graduated. And because he came in with Jim Kelly, who went on to the NFL Hall of Fame, Richt played about as much quarterback there as I did. <laughs> but he's been a very successful head coach at the University of Georgia, and I mean successful in every way that matters, winning on the field and winning off the field. At the press conference on Friday, a reporter asked him how different a person he is from the one they knew back during his playing days at Miami. He didn't hesitate. He said, well, very different. Because in 1986, he said he became a born-again Christian, and in doing so, he finally found a peace that he had never known. And he described what changed for him. And he said that he was, from that point on, able to become a, a person for others instead of being self-obsessed. He was other-centered, and he, because he was now not preoccupied with himself, he could invest himself in the lives of other people. The change he describes is what true repentance is all about. It isn't just about being sorry for your sins or about feeling that finally you got heaven checked off in the future. It is about paving the road for others and making it straight. It's about filling in the valleys and lowering the mountains that will make it easier for other people to be able to see the coming of King Jesus 